welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Diamond Select Marvel Select video. We have yet another Iron Man villain, which is always appreciated because we don't get a lot of Iron Man villains these days. But like I said, this is the new Marvel Select, the Dimitri Bukharin version of the Crimson Dynamo. That's pretty darn cool. Again, you're going to get the standard Diamond Select packaging, but at least I can tell you it's packed to the brim. On the back side, you get really nice photos of the figures. You get all the technical jargon and a little bit of a bio for the Crimson Dynamo, which is always, again, much appreciated. There's a few Crimson Dynamos, but this was designed by Yuri Taming and sculpted by May Tham Tarana. You guys rocked it. Well done. Here's the barcode in case you need it. They're starting to hit comic book stores and online shippings out. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Diamond Select Marvel Selects, Dimitri Bukharin, the Crimson Dynamo. So now here's everything out of the packaging. And just as a reminder, this is a $30 figure. You get a ton of accessories. And once again, I'll tell you, you'll never need another Crimson Dynamo. Well, specifically this version, because you get several pairs of hands of which they are all painted beautifully. I like the red brownish rust color that you have going on. So you got open hands, grabby hands, and a pair of fisted hands. Really nicely done. Now. You do get the unhelmeted head of Dimitri, which again, this is a beautifully sculpted head portrait. I even like the little whites of the beard, the bald head, everything looks great. It's just a knockout through and through. For the actual figure, you pull the head off, you put the unhelmeted head on, he just looks like a cool Russian villain. That is the Crimson Dynamo, or at least what I would consider uh, the unmasked version to be. Now, you do get several swapping face plates, and I like that they did this. It's fairly simplistic. So you get various looks for the Crimson Dynamo. This was more of a white eyes amidst the black, and then you have this really cool Cyclops optic blast. That's just awesome. Just a beam of pure red energy shooting out of the eye holes. And as you can see, just simply swap out the face plates on the head portraits, and this guy really comes to life. That's what I want to see for my superhero supervillains. But not only that, with the hands, you get two blast effects. Now, they're all sculpted together, which is fine for me. I love that they did that. It's a really nice red blend of clear plastic. You can really feel the energy emanating off of this guy, which you simply just swap out the hands, get them all posed out, and bingo bango, he's blasting shots at Iron Man. And if you wanted to go full overdrive mode, hands blasting, eyes blasting, that looks pretty cool. He looks like a nuclear reactor ready to explode, and Iron Man or War Machine, yep, they better watch out. Now, I am happy to say that this is yet another well-done Marvel Select villain. It's well-painted, well-sculpted, and it fits with Marvel Legends. This guy is supposed to be a little bit beefier, a little bit bigger, but the sculpt itself, even the treads on the bottom, peg holes, every little piece of armor, right here there's a little hole. Now this is meant to be for those Diamond Select stands. They don't give you one in the box, and I'm gonna tell you, it ain't gonna do much. This guy is very heavy, so get something with a clasp if you wanna go the whole stand route. It, it's not gonna do much for you. I really like how they did the arms. You have those kind of cog wheels, sort of shoulders. It doesn't get in the way of the articulation. Bicep, single jointed elbows, which are pinless at the elbows, and then you got plenty of articulation in the wrist, they'll swivel. And of course, it's the same thing on the other side, so no difference there. There's no ab crunch to this guy. He basically just swivels up top. You're not gonna go back. You're definitely not gonna go forward. You also have a waist, which of course that works. Now with the legs, I'll tell you, go very easy with them at first. I think there is supposed to be thigh swivel on this guy. It's not working, which means it's either fused shut with paint 
or it's just not a thing. So one of those two, it did not move on mine. I heated it up. No way, shape, or form did that move. So just be wary of that. With the knees, which are single jointed, that's also a point of contention where I would say go very easy at first, kind of get to know the articulation. It is ratcheted, so they're not loose in any way, shape, or form. You got the feet, which those will rock. You got the treads, as everything is nicely designed on the bottom. This is a home run of a Diamond Select figure because not only will it go with your Diamond Select, Marvel Select figures, but it will also go really well with Marvel Legends, which, again, this is supposed to be a bigger guy. And if we're being honest, I've always thought of Marvel Select being the continuation of Toy Biz in this day and age. Like I said, the face plates simply just swap out. They stay in there nicely. They're easy to just swip swap at your leisure so you can give the old Crimson Dynamo several distinct looks. Like I said, in terms of displaying him with Marvel Legends, which that's why I wanted it, you have Iron Man, you got War Machine. These are some of the new Marvel Legends for both of these characters, which I would say again, the Crimson Dynamo being a little bit bigger, big heftier figure, I like the way that these all scale. And if you wanted to see a variety of Iron Man armors from even back to the Toy Biz days, yeah, I would say the look of the Crimson Dynamo, this specific version, just really goes well with all of your various Iron Men, even down to let's say Iron Man the Animated Series, right? So you can have Hawkeye, you can have Black Widow, you can have Spider-Woman, Nick Fury, go to town. But this also makes me want more characters from the old Iron Man 90s Animated Series. Let's get those going. I would love to see more characters from them days. Now, to show you the Marvel Legends Crimson Dynamo, which was a Build-A-Figure way back when, to now this new Marvel Select. They're roughly the same size. It's two distinct different versions of the Crimson Dynamo, but I like this newer version. That's the Crimson Dynamo that I know. And in terms of various armors, especially from Diamond Select with the Titanium Man or the Marvel Legends Warmonger, even though that's a MCU version, I think that they all go very well together as Iron Man villains. And speaking of which... This just really was a lot of fun. And before you say anything, I know the controller is missing. He's missing somewhere in my collection. I haven't found him, but just know, I know, yes, he should have been there, along with a couple of the characters, but I digress. How rad is this figure? I think it's a home run. It's a knockout. Well sculpted, well painted, well armored. The powers are nuts. Absolutely recommend. But... You've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything, the Crimson Dynamo. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned for this weekend. I'll have lots of WonderCon 2024 coverage. Should be a blast. And when it is, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.